Hello students, good morning and welcome you to Doro College e-learning classes. Myself, Daisy Rani Kolita, Assistant Professor, Department of Economics, going to discuss a topic, market and its different forms from your first semester syllabus, unit 2, market and its role in the economy. Well, first of all, we discuss about what is market. According to a France economist corner, economists understand by the term market not any particular marketplace in which things are bought and sold, but the whole of any region in which buyers and sellers are in such free intercourse with one another that the price of the same good tends to equality easily and quickly. Market is a particular place or locality where goods are sold and purchased. For the market, it is required to exist the contact between the sellers and buyers for transaction at an agreed price can take place between them. There are some essentials of a market. There are number one, commodity which is dealt with buyers and sellers. Number two, the existence of buyers and sellers in the market. Number three, a place whether it is certain region, a country or the entire world. Number four, one price should be prevail for the same commodity at the same time. Classification of market forms. The classification of market structure is based on three crucial elements. Number one, the number of firms producing a product. Number two, the nature of product produced by the firm. Number three, the age with who is the new firm can enter the industry. There are four main types of market. There are number one, perfect competitive market. Number two, monopoly. Number three, monopolistic competitive market. Number four, oligopoly. First of all, we discuss about perfect competition or perfect competitive market. Perfect competition is said to prevail where there is a large number of producers or firms producing a homogeneous product. The maximum output which an individual firm can produce is very small relatively to the total demand of the industry product so that a firm cannot affect the price by varying its supply of output. There are some characteristics of perfect competition. Number one, large number of sellers and buyers. Number two, homogeneous product. Number three, perfect mobility of factors of production. Number four, free entry and free exit of firms. Number five, perfect knowledge about the market condition. Number six, no government interference. Number seven, absence of collusion and independent decision making by firms. Now we proceed to the second type of market that is monopoly market. Monopoly is a market structure in which there is a single seller. There are no close substitute for the commodity it produces and there are barriers to entry. There are some main causes that lead to monopoly. They are number one, firstly, ownership of strategic raw materials and exclusive knowledge of production technique. Secondly, patent right for a product or for a production process. Thirdly, government licensing policy. Fourthly, the size of the market may be charged as not to support more than one plant of optimal size. For example, the public utility services. Fifthly, the existing firms adopt a limit pricing policy for prevention of new entry. Now, we proceed to monopolistic competition. That is the monopolistic competitive market. The monopolistic competitive market 
combines the basic elements of both perfect competition and monopoly. Monopolistic competition refers to a market structure in which a large number of sellers sell differentiated products which are close substitutes for one another. There are also some characteristics of monopolistic competition. They are number one product differentiation, number two selling cost, number three large number of sellers, number four free entry and exit, number five downward sloping demand curve. Product differentiation and selling cost are the two important characteristics in monopolistic market which are not attained in other types of market like perfect competition and monopoly. Now, we proceed to the fourth type of market that is oligopoly market. Oligopoly is a market structure in which there are a few sellers selling homogeneous or differentiated products. If the oligopoly firms sell a homogeneous product, it is called pure or homogeneous oligopoly. For example, industries producing bread, cement, steel, petrol and sugars are industries characterized by homogeneous oligopoly. And if the oligopoly industry sells differentiated products, it is called differentiated or heterogeneous oligopoly. Automobiles, television sets, soaps, refrigerators, soft drinks, computers, etc. are some examples of industries characterized by differentiated oligopoly. However, to sellers is the limiting case of oligopoly market. When there are only two sellers, the market is called duopoly. Dear student, we hope in the next video classes, we will discuss this topic more elaborately. Thank you. Thank you so much.